So we have to compute our center of mass on a rod with a density function. Now this function right here, this letter is a row. And this row is constant of just two. And we're going from zero to three. Now the center of mass was not actually in the textbook. So where did I go? I just searched for it, compute the center of mass on a rod with a density. And went down and grabbed the center of mass uh, formula right here and brought it over. So it almost looks identical, the numerator and the down denominator. The only difference is the numerator's got an extra multiply by x. So we'll just start with the numerator first. So I just rewrote the numerator. A is 0 and B is 3. That's the x values we're going to go across. Now we have x times. Now our row is just 2. It's just a constant of 2 dx. It's not x squared, it's x times 2. And antiderivative of x is x squared. Uh, good news is you already had that 2 coefficient. So uh, when you divide by 2, it just cancels it out. So you just have x squared. Of course, I integrated, so I should not be writing that. 0 to 3. So we have 3 squared minus 0 squared. And we get 9. So that's the numerator. So we get a 9 there. Now the denominator is very similar. It's just 0 to 3 rho of x dx. Now our rho is 2 dx. So antiderivative of 2 is 2x from 0 to 3. So we have 2 times 3 minus 2 times 0. 2 times 3 is 6. So our denominator is 6. And you can reduce that to 3 halves. So that will be our center of mass.